The challenge we've tried to address is to actually eliminate salmonella diarrhea. The bacteria that cause this disease are very prevalent in livestock and a major burden and often transmit from livestock to humans. At the moment, the only real way we have preventing such infections are hygiene practices, so good hand washing, safe food preparation. Uh, but with the spread currently of antibiotic resistance, we urgently need a preventative vaccine and currently all of our attempts in this direction have failed. What we have come across in the course of our fundamental research is what we think is one of the main reasons for this failure. And what it turns out is that Salmonella forms huge populations of bacteria in the gut lumen, and these can adapt very rapidly, so they can produce many, many variants. And when we use a vaccine to induce an immune response against these bacteria, what happens is we exert a selective pressure, these salmonella in the gut very rapidly evolve. They change their surface. They're no longer recognized by the vaccine. They can grow happily. They can continue the disease and they can spread to new hosts. So what we realized is that you can, in fact, weaponize this rapid evolution against the bacterial pathogens. If you play chase with salmonella in the gut lumen with the immune response, eventually you exhaust all of its possible good escape routes and force it to make an evolutionary trade-off where it actually has to compensate for escaping from the vaccine by becoming a weaker pathogen. And this, of course, is good for stopping transmission. The way that we can do this is to carry out repeated rounds of vaccination and infection in animals, re-isolate the bacteria that are able to escape, and assemble what we call an oligovalent evolutionary trap vaccine that really drives salmonella into this evolutionary dead end. These types of vaccines are extremely safe. They're also rather cheap and easy to produce and very easy to administer. So they're highly relevant for applications in both human and veterinary medicine worldwide. What we're hoping is with next generations of these types of vaccines and further development, we can actually develop vaccines targeting bacterial pathogens that are capable of driving pathogen extinction in the same way that we've seen for vaccines for things like smallpox.